Hello friends, welcome to A to Z Industry. This video focuses on important MCQs related to intraoral radiography. Which periapical projection technique provides images with less distortion? Panoramic, occlusal, bisecting angle, parallel. Paralleling. Paralleling technique minimizes image distortion. Image distortion more in bisecting angle technique. Paralleling technique, otherwise known as right angle technique, long con technique, short con technique, both A and B. Both A and B. Paralleling technique, otherwise known as long con technique or right angle technique. Bisecting angle technique known as short con technique. In paralleling technique, the central ray is directed perpendicular to image receptor, parallel to patient mid sagittal plane, parallel to teeth and receptor, right angle to teeth and receptor. Right angle to the tooth and receptor. Bisecting angle technique used to take bite wing radiographs, periapical radiographs, occlusal radiographs, both A and B. Periapical radiographs. Bisecting angle technique used for periapical radiographs and parallel technique used in bite wing radiographs. Which radiographic principle applies to the bisecting angle technique? Alara, Clark rule, SLOB principle, rule of isometry. Rule of isometry. According to rule of isometry, two triangles are equal when they share one common side and two equal angles. Rule of isometry used in bisecting angle technique. And the parallel technique based on imaging principle. Which radiography utilizes the placement of film as close to the teeth? Bisecting angle, panoramic, parallelly, occlusal. Bisecting angle technique. In bisecting angle technique, the film is placed as close to the tooth structure. Which is the vertical angulation for horizontal biting images? Plus 5, minus 5, minus 10, plus 10. Plus 10 degree. The vertical angulation for horizontal biting images is plus 10 degrees. In position and distance rule, operator should stand 8 feet from the patient at 150 to 180 degree angle to central ray, 6 feet from the patient at 60 to 120 angle to the central ray, 6 feet from the patient at 90 to 135 angle to central ray, 8 feet from the patient at 60 to 180 angle to the central ray. 6 feet from the patient at a 90 to 135 angle to the central ray. Method used to identify the spatial position of an object. Cross-sectional occlusal radiogram, Miller's technique, tube shift technique, all of the above. All of the above. All these methods used to identify the spatial position of an object. Tube shift technique, otherwise known as buckle object tool or Clark's rule. 12 film survey not uses posterior IOPA, anterior IOPA, biting radiograph, occlusal radiograph. Occlusal radiograph. 12 film survey requires for posterior IOPAs, for canine IOPAs, to incisor IOPAs, and to biting radiographs. In 16 film survey requires for permanent molar radiographs 
additional to 12 film survey. Excessive vertical angulation result in image foreshortening, overlapping, film fogging, elongation. Foreshortening. Excessive vertical angulation result in image foreshortening. Extra beam miss part of the receptor result in film fog, corn cut, light image, blurring. Corn cut. When a X-ray beam miss part of the receptor that result in partial image or corn cut. Which mandibular projection have a slight positive angulation of the central ray? Incisors. Canine, premolars, molars. Molars. Because of slight lingual inclination of mandibular molars, the central ray have some positive angulation. Tooth used for receptor placement gate for premolar biping. Maxillary canine, mandibular canine, maxillary first premolar, mandibular first premolar. It's all about the topic intraoral radiography. See you with a new video. Thank you.